Today, we talk about audio. We are going to review the brand new Holy Land Lord Max, a very affordable and professional sounding lavalier microphone. We will compare this with my other brand new Love, the Rode Wireless Me, and follow my 32-bit flow professional mic, the Teleco Sentra E, and the Zoom F2. And I will explain why I think the new Holy Land might be better for run and gun immersive content creators that require ambisonic spatial audio for both YouTube VR and MetaQuest delivery. Let's go! Audio is as important as visual, no matter what kind of content you are creating. If you are a traditional video creator who just want to learn about the Log Max, feel free to jump to this time code right here for the review and comparison. As an immersive content creator, we do have a higher standard on audio. On MetaQuest, we are required to deliver second order ambisonic spatial audio, or at least first order for both YouTube VR and Meta. Yes, you can use a spatial microphone like the Zoom A3 VR right here to capture environment spatial audio, but for people talking, this mic right here is not gonna pick it up. So you need a overlay the talking in post with a very, very clear dialogue recording. Obviously, in 360 or VR 180, you cannot use a shotgun microphone. So a lavalier is required for each people in your immersive video. The benefit of a professional 32-bit flow lav, as I mentioned in this video, is that you don't need to set the volume on recording anymore. It can capture even the very quiet sound source that you can easily bring it back in post and it never clip your recording. But the disadvantage, a reasonable one, is the price. Each Teleco Sync Track E right here costs 349 US dollar. Even the less expensive Zoom F2 costs 229 each. So two of them with accessory are well over 500 US dollars. There's a lot of money for just audio. So I pick up the brand new Rode Wireless Me. They cost only 149 US dollars, but I quickly found out the Rode batteries suck. They ran out so fast. And then we have this middle tier price point right here, the Holy Land Lord Max. It targets professional creators, but only costs 299 US dollars with two lav system and a receiver. DJI Wireless Lav is above the price point I want to pay for only 24 bit. For about $300, I'd rather invest in a 32-bit flow like Teleco Sync right here. So I end up picking up the Holy Land Log Mask. Still a little bit expensive, but the best decision I ever make as my audio second unit when I have more than four talents. Here are the specs of Holy Land Log Max. Three things you need to pay attention. It has a 22 hours battery life, compared to the 15 hour of DJI mic, this is a significant increase. Rode is way less without a charging case. The signal range is 250 meters over 820 feet, and the most important of all, and it is probably why I picked up this instead of the DJI or Rode, or even an other Teleco Sync Track E, is the new feature ENC, Environmental Noise Cancellation. I believe they are the first manufacturer had this kind of tech, very similar to the new Apple AirPod Pro. As a solo content creator, audio quality is the key to me. So let's do a real world test to see which microphone sounds the best. Here I'm in Santa Monica Pier, the noisiest environment around my studio. We will first compare the normal mode to the ENC noise cancelling mode. All the audio is rolling right now. My test one, two, three, and it's pretty noisy behind me. So now I gotta turn on the denoise mode on on the Holy Land. So let's turn it on. Uh, it's not on. Oh, there you go. Now it's on. 
so still rolling. So uh, now I turn on the denoise mode. Uh, let's see how the audio sound on the Holy Land new denoise mode. Uh, I got talks really loud. See if you can uh, clip it. Because usually we clip it because this have an auto clip. Uh, you see all my all my microphone right here. So uh, my test one two three. My test one two three. Uh, behind me is the very noisy. Oh, it's morning. It's A lot of people looking at me. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god, that's weird. Uh, a lot of people looking at me. <laughs> As you hear, you cannot really tell the differences in my voice between the normal and the ENC, which is great. This is exactly what we want. If you look at the waveform, you see the ENC effectively took down the environmental noise, so my voice sound clear. How is that compared to others? Let's take a listen. Hey, so now we're doing our audio mic test for the brand new right here, the Holy Land, the brand new Holy Land, and also compared with the brand new Rode Wireless Go. Uh, and then we have the 32-bit flow microphone right here, the Zoom, and the Telego Track E. Uh, and then also the camera filming me is the Insta Go 3. So how's the audio sound? Test one, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, so now we're doing our audio mic test for the brand new right here. The Holy Land, the brand new Holy Land, and also compared with the brand new Rode Wireless Go. Uh, and then we have the 32 bit flow microphone right here, the zoom, and the Telego Track E. Uh, and then also the camera filming me is the Insta Go 3. So, how's the audio sound? Test one, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, so now we're doing our audio mic test for the brand new right here, the Holy Land, the brand new Holy Land, and also compared with the brand new. Roll while let's go. Uh, and then we have the 32 bit flow microphone right here, the zoom, and the Telego Track E. Uh, and then also the camera filming me is the Insta Go 3. So, how's the audio sound? Test one, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, so now we're doing our audio mic test for the brand new right here, the Holy Land, the brand new Holy Land, and also compared with the brand new Roll while let's go. Uh, and then we have the 32 bit flow microphone right here, the zoom, and the Telego Track E. Uh, and then also the camera filming me is the Insta Go 3. So, how's the audio sound? Test one, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, so now we're doing our audio mic test for the brand new right here, the Holy Land, the brand new Holy Land, and also compared with the brand new Rode Wireless Go. Uh, and then we have the 32 bit flow microphone right here, the zoom, and the Telego Track E. Uh, and then also the camera filming me is the Insta Go 3. So how's the audio sound? Test one, two, three, one, two, three. So what do you think? I would like to hear your opinion. To me, they are all great, way better than the on-camera audio solution like in the Insta to see Go 3. So in my honest opinion, if you get any of them, you are good. Well, Holy Land Lord Max with ENC does has one advantage. When I talk really low. In this section, you can see waveform drop. I single out the session and normalize the loudest level to minus 16 LKFS, which is the YouTube loudest standard. We effectively bring back the quiet part of the audio. Let's take a listen. Quiet, I talk really quiet, talk so quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet, I talk really quiet, talk so quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet, I talk really quiet, talk so quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet, I talk really quiet, talk so quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet, I talk really quiet, talk so quiet, 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 quiet. As you can hear, the Lark Max still sounds great, but for all other options, we also raise the noise floor. In this situation, when you need to raise the volume and save your recording because your quiet talking talents, Holy Land Lord Max ENC really shine and come in handy. ENC in Lord Max does not remove all the noise. It kept the environmental sound but just at a lower volume. In contrast, it makes the dialogue pop more. It makes the result more believable than AI denoising solution like the Lala L.AI or Adobe Podcast. Holy Land is not AI, just noise cancelling and smart engineering, which is why it is so great. Nowadays, many creators rely on AI to clean up their audio, 
which is why everyone sounds like robots. Don't be those creators. Spend time capturing the best audio possible and avoid post cleanup altogether. Technical Track E, Zoom F2, and Holy Land Lord Max all have the internal recording feature. I like it and rely on it, but most of the creators hate to sync audio and video in post. That is why they love having the receiver send the audio directly into their camera in perfect sync. And that is why Rode Wireless Go or Me it is so great. But there is always a range for any wireless love. Let's do a test. So I gotta do camera test with one, go two, go three, and my iPhone. Rolling right now. I gotta run. Okay, let's run. Okay, right here, I am still in line of sight, about 200 meters away from the camera or less, but in a crazy signal interference area because of the density of the population around me. The audio actually dropped in the wireless me. Here is what it really sounds like before I turn back. So I gotta do camera test with one, go two, go three, and my iPhone. Rolling right now. I gotta run. Okay, let's run. Okay, it's really weird. <laughs> Holy Land Lord Max has 250 meters range. Sometimes I can go even further than 250 meters without losing signal, which is pretty insane. If you need to go further, there's always an internal recording. I just wish they also has time code sync feature like the technical track E right here, so we can have frame level sync in post. But well, this is under 300 US dollars, so I cannot really ask for too much. Holy Land Lord Max also has other fancy features like the magnetic design. I can use my install to see Go 3 accessory to mount the mic on me as you see right here, which is very convenient for a documentary filmmaker like me. It has a 1.1 inch touchscreen and you can control everything on the two transmitter, including formatting. So I don't need to take it off for my talents. This is a huge time saver for a forgetful solo creator like myself. The little thing does matter. This is not a 32-bit flow mic and does not have AI to help you auto gain. So make sure to dial your mic input accordingly. Usually, minor 3 is what I go with most people. Luckily, you can control all that on the receiver. And you can even check audio level on your phone speaker in real time, which is amazing when you do not have a sound guy with you. I hope this review helped you to pick up the best affordable laugh system for your next creative journey. Any of this laugh will be great for your production. You don't need to have the Holy Land or the expensive technical trend E. Just get something other than your onboard camera microphone. If you'd like to see more reviews like this, don't forget to subscribe and help us out. Give this video a big thumb up and drop me a thank you comment down below. Insta360 just dropped a new camera, the Go 3, which I used on this video. Check out my review right here. It is a great consumer vlogging camera that when you don't want people to know you're filming. If you're interested to learn spatial audio, the workflow, how to create that AD audio sound in immersive media, check out this playlist right here. And I will see you in the next video. Stay creative, my friends.